for gold and payday loans and dollar stores and bus stops covered in broken 40 ounce bottles and plastic tip cigars and shooting heroin on a blood-stained futon mattress in your mother's basement in your small midwestern town. It's being evicted from apartments that we can't afford working 40 hours a week and buying groceries at the liquor store because it's half a block away and it's smoking ourselves to death because it's a break from the monotonous drone of living in a place we know we will never escape. Because corporate buildings and sports stadiums are new houses of worship and stories about the good old days that weren't really all that great. We just tend to romanticize the past when the future that's been created for us looks so, so bleak. And we've been nursing these World War II hangovers in our cubicles and prison cells, waiting for the old guard to die as they slowly lose their soda-jerked minds. And I just wish Nina Simone was here to sing us Mississippi Goddamn! Mississippi, goddamn, Mississippi, goddamn, just one last time. So as these mothers and fathers clip out the obituaries of their sons and daughters out of some of the last newspapers that will ever exist, let's do our best to not be the laughing stocks of your great great grandchildren's history books. Mississippi, goddamn. Mississippi, yeah, damn! Mississippi, yeah!